Hello everyone, I am Fracture and this is Let's Play Two Worlds 2 on the PC. I was just wandering around a little bit, kind of doing nothing, killing some mobs, searching the map a little bit. But let's get on with the next quest, shall we? So let's actually get get moving. Now the quest book is actually quite good because if you double click on a quest it will show you where it is on the map. And I think this is the quest we're on spoke with Altan and it looks like I have to do whatever he asks or Bayan won't be eating anytime soon. And I guess there's no map item for that. And yeah, here we go. Um, the next thing is we have to find this pictogram and head over here. So let's hop on the horse and find this. And if I zoom out a little bit, it looks like it's south along the path and then and we head over here so fair enough looks like we've got some horse riding now this one isn't too bad again if if you're unfamiliar with how the horse works you're holding down the W key and then mouse steer steers the horse mouse look steers the horse if you don't realize you're supposed to hold down the W key the horse, if you're trying to use WASD to steer the horse, so if I get him moving and then hit, he does right angles, so that must drive people nuts. And there's been a lot of complaints about the horse racing component of this game, particularly because there's a mini game coming up that you have to finish to proceed to the next quest. And if you're having trouble with it, I imagine it'd be like incredibly frustrating. As luck would have it, I stumbled across, without really trying, stumbled across the right way of um, doing this and didn't really mind horse, horse riding that much. So let's just take a quick look again. I keep hitting the wrong key. Okay, I kind of missed the start. Okay, so we want to head uh, down this way, I believe. Hmm. Oh, I injured my horse. Wonder what you do to heal him. Oh, there we go. I just got booted. Trying to get him to jump off. Uh, it looks like he heals slowly over time. All right. So I got booted off that time, and there we go. We passed the first initiation step, and they don't really tell you, but now it's just chase the X's. And as far as I know, there's no rush in this part. You don't really have to race. Don't say I didn't warn you. So you just... Trying to look at two places at once here. And when in doubt, the X's can be a little hard to follow, but essentially I'm just following this path really. And trying to avoid getting eaten by. And also trying to avoid clicking too much. The horse will boot you off if you try to get him to go too fast. Oh, and that little message just popped up because I ran past some sort of crafting component, a flower or something like that. One of the things that's very useful in the next quest is you can actually hit spacebar if you're quick enough. Like, oh, I missed one. I just saw some flowers there. If you're quick enough, you can hit the spacebar and he will pick it at a full gallop. And that's actually useful to know for the next. Oh, he did hurt himself again, tripping over those barrels. So 
So here we nice. go. We found it, and that also got us our level. And there's the picture you're supposed to write down. And you don't have to do anything, it's written down now. So now we can head back to town. We don't have to take the same path back, we can just cut the corners, but yeah, it's just easier for me just follow the path back. It's certainly longer doing it this way because you're going around in in an S instead of like a direct path. But if this is your first time on the horse, you're probably better off taking the time to practice. One of the quests that's coming up is timed. And there's another one of the temples. There you go. Oh, so I just... I picked a flower at full gallop there, as you saw. I'm just going to go close enough to this temple to get it to show up on the map. There we go. So you can see also my horse is fully healed again. So even at don't say I didn't warn you. Even riding and galloping it continues to heal. That's nice. I think you'd have to be really abusive to your horse to to get it anywhere close to risking its life unless you I suppose ran off a cliff or something like that. There's another temple. That one's on the map though. Oh, he didn't boot me that time. Another temple. And I'm just going to take a look at the map here. And again, I hit the wrong button. Because if I go to the end of the map, that's actually, I miss my turn. So I just want to, on the way back, you actually turn early. Go. So I got to get up this hill. And we're almost back to town. we go our first minor horse race although it wasn't really a race there was no time limit this time soon enough there will be I was beginning to think you've gotten lost use your map and the symbol I underestimated you was that a compliment don't press your luck boy you have passed the initiation it is your right to attempt the rustlers run is this still your desire? I'd like to give my horse a rest for a bit. I'll be back when we're ready. How considerate. We'll be waiting. Okay, so... More stuff they don't tell you. The Rustler's Run is basically a race starting here. And very similar. Your following X's, following a path that in a few places is very hard to see, so it's a little more difficult. But one of the things they don't tell you, and I won't be doing the race in this video, one of the things they don't tell you is when you come over here and talk to this guy, the timer starts. Unfortunately, your horse is way the heck over there. And if you look, if I run really fast and try to mount the horse, that sometimes that little mounting button doesn't show up. You can see it flickers on and off. And you can eat up 30 seconds just trying to get on your horse. And uh, now you've only got three minutes to do the rustler's run, and it's there and back. It's actually, it can take a couple of tries. And if you're not comfortable with the horse, as apparently looking at the internet, a lot of people aren't, it's incredibly frustrating, and the game really won't progress. You won't get any further quests until you resolve it. So it's one of those games that has 
a frustrating mini game that if you don't like it, you're stuck and it can ruin the game for you. And this is why we're doing the Rustler's Run. Uh, no, this isn't. One of these gates is is locked anyway, so we really need to to accomplish this. And sort of the backstory is we have to beat this rustler's run before he will. He says he will feed this other village, so that's kind of why we're bothering with all of this. But I can see we're getting close to the end, so I'm just going to do a little bit more running around and. Uh, See if we can find some more mobs. Here's a locked gate. Yeah, see that's locked. That red lock means it's not pickable. So let's just... Must be moving. Oh, he's behind a rock. Hmm. Yeah, what's going on here? Oh, he, <coughs> all right. Big and glad you made me. So, if you'll notice, what do we have here? All I had to do was when I lock on, if I strafe, they don't have a chance of hitting me with their poop. So, as I said, they they have the same limitation what's with. This? with hitting somebody that's moving that I do, so at least it's fair in that regard. I don't think I'm going to find enough mobs that I gain another level. Let's take a look at the map. Where are we exactly? Oh, that's interesting. Now I'm curious. This will be later. I know what that's for, but that's later, so let's ignore that for now. I don't think we'll actually be allowed over there. No, it's all fenced off. So this is the area that opens up. Oh, what did I just pass? I passed. Oh, there it is. Aconite, increased duration of effects. All right. Ah, just a little beach. It looked interesting on the map. I thought there may be some, some secret. Oh, and if you're wondering, that cave I found um, way back at the other beach when I was attacked by that rhino, I sort of forgot about that other cave. Uh, don't worry, I'm quite sure it was far above my level. The caves this, this early in the game are ridiculously hard, but we'll come back to it. It's nice and close to that teleport point, so. And yes, I heard the bong of the end game, so let's just teleport back. And for some reason, my horse is showing up again. It must be some sort of timed thing. If you don't ride it for a while, the horse icon disappears. I don't know. Anyway. So we'll go stand near the horse. He's all prepped for the race. And we will say... Ooh. Got to see what the inside of a horse looks like. We will say, I thank you for watching, I thank you for listening, and I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse. I promise I read it all. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or give me the thumbs up, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, folks. Cheers.